In with our top story, and the opposition now claims a Venezuelan national has been in the country for the last three weeks attempting to clean up the server ahead of possible access as demanded by the Raila Odinga side. This as the Azimio side prepares for another round of civil activism set to begin immediately after the holy month of Ramadan, citing lack of seriousness from the Kenya Kwanzaa side geared towards the bipartisan talks. Speaking during the first citizen engagement event that brought together civil societies and pressure grounds at the Ufungamano House, Nairobi, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga faulted Kenya Kwanzaa for dragging its feet on the talks and lack of seriousness in addressing other issues raised by Azimio apart from the opening of the electoral agency service. KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel To begins our broadcast tonight. After holding a public baraza forum that brought together civil societies, unions and pressure groups, the Azimiolo Moja One Kenya team came out with a list of 13 resolutions, top among them going back to the streets as early as next week. <laughs> the Azimio chief, Railo Dinga, announced the street action will return immediately after the holy month of Ramadan. <laughs> Hey, moto ni? Moto! Kwa sisi, tutaendelea. Tutaendelea. Sitaendelea? Tunangoja mba Ramadhani ishi. Ramadhani kisha na mna hii. Kitatangaza. The slightest indication that the call for truth was not in good faith, then action must be taken. And the resolutions have already directed us to the action that we must take. We have made it clear if we see evidence of no good faith, as indeed is clearly demonstrable from their own actions and utterances at every level, then the Kenyans have a right to go back to the street. Madamano yetu inakuja. And me, I will personally read it. Kuhusu beya kahawa. Kuhusu beya majani chai. Beya mkunga. Kwanza tuko disappointed kwa mambo ya mandi wakatu leerisha madamano. Hiyo lazima tuseme. Next time wewe kota kwa niki ya madamano, wewe ungea na hao tuwache tupamande huko wa street. This comes as fresh allegations over the election servers on the day Azimio announced its intentions to go back to the streets. Azimio now claiming an individual of Venezuelan heritage has been attempting to clean up the contents of the servers that hosted the election results before they can be granted access. We are aware that Venezuelans have been here for the past three or so weeks. They were sent to come and try to tamper with the server. So that eventually if the pressure is too much on them, they can open it up and then we find falsified records. Those Venezuelans, we have been on their track. We have been trading them. They have been able to escape our drug nets. The last two weeks or so, they were staying in our trade in Selesha. These claims, however, could not be independently verified by the Standard Group. The leaders also faulted Kenya Kwanzaa for including Eldas MP Adan Kinan in the lineup of negotiators, saying the long serving legislator who now pledges allegiance to President William Ruto was in fact their member. Mwishimua Adan Kinan, ye ni mfuasu wa jubili. Kwa yo ye yuko chini ya kioni. Na ni makosa sana na ukosefu wa sheria. Ikiwa mnaeza kuchukua mbuge ambayo yuko pande huu, Azimio is now expected to give a tentative date for the return of the demos with another rally slated for Sunday at the Kamkunji grounds. The Azimio La Umoja One Kenya team is now counting down before the end of the month of Ramadan next week as they plan to begin their nationwide demonstrations across the country to pile pressure on the bipartisan parliamentary process talks that are currently ongoing. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Ufungamano House, Nairobi. Thank you too for that. Legislators affiliated to Kenya 